Hi, everyone. I'm Rijo Li from the School of Computer Science at the University of Nottingham. And my research topic is using deep learning method to analyze medical images. I'm very happy to give this presentation in this conference today. OK, let me share my screen. The title of my paper is Image Augmentation Using a Task-Guided Generative Advanced Network for Each Estimation on Brain MRI. In this video, firstly, I will show our motivation and aim, then introduce our proposed framework. Next, I will talk some experiments and results. Finally, I will give some conclusions. OK, let's start it. Deep learning method have achieved the state-of-the-art performance in many medical image analysis tasks. Also, some methods can assist doctors in diagnosis and prognosis. However, the performance of the deep learning model are highly dependent on the quantity and quality of the training dataset. Compared with the natural image dataset, both collecting and annotating medical image data are extremely time-consuming. So our aim is filling in the scarcity of the original dataset to improve the performance of a deep learning model. To overcome the data scarcity problem, in this paper, we propose a generative advanced network-based image synthesis method. Different from the existing GAN-based method, to get the model learn more task-specific feature, and we integrate a task-guided branch to the end of the generator in GAN. By adding a task-guided loss, the learned low-dimensional latent space and the synthesized images are more task-specific. It helps to boost the performance of the downstream task by combining the synthesized images and real images for model training. This, this is an overview of the proposed framework. This method is based on a GAN model, which includes a generator to generate images from a latent feature and a discriminator to determine whether the image is real or fake. To extract the latent feature from images, we add an encoder before the decoder of generator. Besides, a task-guided branch was appended to the generator, aims to guide the generator learn task-specific features. This model includes three cost functions. The first one is an original GAN loss. The second one is a reconstruction loss, which evaluates the quality of synthesized the image. It's trying to minimize the pixel-wise difference between input image and the synthesized image. The third loss is the task-guided loss. In this paper, the task-guided branch is a regression model for age prediction. So the loss is a mean squared error between predicted age and the ground truth. We evaluated, we evaluated this method on a public brain MRI dataset and also pre-process the images following a common pipeline, which is de described in reference three. Due to the memory problem, we resize the images to 96 cube for an efficient training. The data set includes 1,150 non-diseased subjects with age from six to 24. Also to reduce the effect of gender, we balance the numbers of male and female for each age group. The interval of the each group of each group is one. After that, in total, 860 images was used for this method evaluation. We then divide them into three groups: 640 for training, 62 for validation, and 160 for testing. As comparison, we in total train three different models. The first one is a baseline model, which is a simple VGG-based regression model for age prediction. This baseline model trained on the original data set, which is not balanced on age. The second one, we call it red GAN. For this model, we firstly train a GAN model without the task-guided branch, and then balancing each age groups of the data set by synthesizing images using this model. After that, uh, we train a new regression model on the new balanced data set. The final one is our proposed method named REGGAN TGV. It is the same as REGGAN, but adding the task-guided branch to the generator of GAN. 
to synthesize the images, we use a feature interpolation based method. The equation six and the figure shows the process of images synthesized. Firstly, we pass the two image xi and xj to the encoder of generator to extract the latent feature zi and zj. Then, then interpolate the zi and zj by using a random weight epsilon. We can get the new latent feature zis. Next, send the zis to the decoder to get the synthesized image xi. Similarly, the corresponding label yis can be getting uh, following the equation can be get following equation seven. After combining the real and synthesized images, we ensure at least 50 images for each age group, resulting in a total of 940 images for training. The table shows the reconstruction error of GAN and the mean square error and the mean absolute error of the re regression model trained on balanced data set. If you look at the table, uh, the drag gun method, which synthesized image by using original gun, achieved a good reconstruction result. But the error of age prediction is larger than baseline. This indicates that a synthesized image from this method was not correlated to the associated age, which confused the regression model training. Although the reconstruction error of our proposed method is larger than drag gun but it achieved much better age prediction result. It dominates that adding task guided branch helps the GAN model to synthesize more meaningful images for different ages. The figure also shows in most of the age groups, our proposed method outperformed the other two methods. This figure shows some visualization results. In the column one to four, we show some visual examples of real images and synthesized images using the generative method for age eight and 20 on one 2D slide. For each of the generative method, we also show the image intensity difference between age eight and age 20 in column five and six. It's observed that the visual image quality generated by the drag gun method is much better than our proposed method. However, the intensity difference between age eight and 20 generated by drag gun is quite small and mainly highlighted the whole brain border region. Our proposed method generated more blurry images, but it, produ but it produced a much larger intensity difference in the highlight region, which indicates this region is actively changing from age eight to 20. It also dominates the feature the features extracted by drag gun model highly related to the reconstruction task, but our method focuses on both the reconstruction features and the age-related features together. This finding needs to be further confirmed in brain science fairs. So in this paper, we propose an image synthesized method, which synthesizes images for different age groups in population level. The learned low dimensional latent space and the synthesized images are more task specific by adding the task guided branch. It helps to boost the performance of the downstream task by combining the synthesized images and real images for model, for model training. And it also enables the visualization of task related feature in the uh, image space. For the future work, we aim to find a better feature interpolation method and try to change the image features by adding the latent feature. Also, we want to compare our method with other state-of-the-art method like AC GAN. Uh, that's all of my presentation. Thanks for watching.